Hello, today we're gonna build a house in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that each room is a different Pinterest post. Part 2. Yes, this is the part 2 of the challenge. If you haven't seen part 1, then go see that or not. It's up to you. Do I have to tell the challenge rules? I mean, I might as well. So for this challenge, I go on Pinterest, I type in a room, and the first picture that pops up on Pinterest, I have to make. That's the challenge. So um, let's start, shall we? Are we freaking shall? Radio, here we are on my beautiful lot. Whoa! So what should I start with first? I do believe that I'm going to start with this little house. There's one right here. And there was a great comment by, oh shoot, Alexandringo. Sorry for putting your username. But they had an amazing idea for what I could do with that little house. And that was to make it into a little studio of apartment space with an office, small bathroom, and a lofted bedroom. And I thought that that was a great idea. I freaking do. So I thought we could begin with the loft bedroom. That seems like a great idea. So let's do that. Pinterest gave me my loft bedroom. Ooh. Just ignore the under part. We're just going to do the loft bedroom and i see i see that's very cute that's a lot of cute i think the loft bedroom has to be here because you know we have a door here that i would like to use so that makes sense so they have the bed pushed up right against the edge and we can't really do that in the sims they need like a tile to move on so i'm just gonna do it right here and then we need a little ladder oh that's probably not gonna be functional though this doesn't the same have to go out on this side not in front you know what this whole house is unfunctional all right it is now let's give them a nice little bed i mean they do only have a mattress though that they do so i think maybe we should have a mattress there you go your own little mattress Whoop. all right one more that we have so for this little box it has like a box and a open thing in front i'm so good at explaining things okay what if i first begin with this and then just scooch it in into the box on top just like so and then we just put in some plants that kind of looks like the picture doesn't it and then for the other boxes like two boxes with the little hole in them and we do something like that okay i took two boxes size them down put them on top of each other and then we just put a flower in there yeah <laughs> oh my gosh kind of looks like the picture and then i'm just gonna put up some little naked and next to fill up the space there we go and then in the back there's a window two shelves with some stuff on it okay i think we gotta go and get a window in here <laughs> i am just gonna get this window now it doesn't match the other windows but it wasn't on the picture that's fine by me and then some little shelves up in here and right what even is that a little glass right thing can we get that i mean i don't really think we have a glass bowl with a plant coming out of it but i can get this little fish bowl and size it down maybe but i'm just gonna get this little flower and put it in there like so <laughs> that's looking ridiculous but okay and then on the other shelf there's this little round thing kind of looks like a little plant but we don't have a round ball plant like that so instead i'm gonna use this green yarn ball <laughs> perfect and then just two little picture frames yeah and then the fairy lights right gotta go into debug for that well that took way long than it needed to way way longer but i did it now there's not really that much else on this little bed uh, top bed top loft bed because theirs is a lot smaller but we have a lot of space left so i think i just i'm sorry i gotta improvise here what can we do for them i can get this little ottoman and then to just make it a lot more cozier i'm just gonna put up a lot of pillows just for the ambiance right so it looks a lot more cozier in here already i like it and right here to just fill up the space i thought we could put up a little desk area you know a little tiny desk area so i can get this desk that's nice and tiny and then just some nickety knacks for the ambience because why not well nickety knack central up in here doesn't exactly look like the picture but uh we need the space let's move on to the next room interest give me my kitchen small okay this is looking nice they do have a little chair there for some reason and a door to the outside i don't know what we're gonna do about that but probably something <laughs> probably something indeed so let's start with the flooring and wallpaper like we usually do and then we need some gray counters maybe this that's probably closest we're gonna get so let's put up this kitchen i mean we can only see one side of this kitchen but one would assume that they would have a stove and a fridge too you know one could only zoom and then they have this door here am i gonna put in a door am i just gonna have a door to nothing i don't know and then we just need some shelves up in there what else do we need they have this little chair i mean just right in front of the sink sure why not yeah it's there now and then on the counter they have this little dish rack so what can we do about that i mean i can put up this one that's kind of metally but it has some books in it that it does what can we do about that that. maybe some plates and stuff i mean maybe some plates and stuff would be good yeah there you go Ooh, and then they have this little colander is that what it's called on the wall again i gotta improvise here i got to improvise here is me little hook i've used the <laughs> wall light and just rotated it around and right there is me little colander beautiful and then over here they have a little basket with some eggs in it and again just put that little basket on there and then slowly one by one i'm gonna put me freaking eggs in i'm putting all my eggs in one basket and don't you dare ask me what that thing 
is because I tried to do something with a column and then it all messed up and now I can't pick it up or anything. So you know, that's there forever now. So on the bottom, they have these hanging plants with a little hanging brush. On the top of the shelf, they have some hanging cups. Ugh, can I do that? I mean, for the hanging plants, we can just put this up. Yeah, that seems reasonable enough. And here's me little brush from D-Bag. It's hanging on for their life. And then for those hanging cups, I mean, I think I can do the same trick as I did with the little colander. Just take the light and rotate around. Rotating all around town. Yeah, that looks very lovely. And then there's just some more in the hidden axe on the shelf. So I guess I gotta put that in as best as I can. Alrighty, I am done with the dusk kitchen. And I'm not really sure what to do about this part though. That I am not. I mean, what if I just do this? Because I can't really do anything else. You know, I don't have the space for it. And I'm not gonna move lots. This is our home. This is our lot. I'm not gonna move. Just gotta deal with it. Just gotta improvise. Now we shall move on to the bathroom. Ah, oh, oh. So many emotions right there. I mean, so this is the bathroom. <laughs> it's very small. So that's gonna be fun. So for the wallpaper, it has some flowers on it. I mean, this wallpaper could work. It matches well enough, I feel like. And then for the flooring, I mean, they really just have some red bricks. Okay, not gonna think about it. Just putting it on there. And then the toilet and a sink. What if I just take this and then just squeeze it into the wall a little bit? Yikes. What else do they have? Okay, they have a little window and a windowsill and a mirror, toilet paper and a radiator. Beautiful. So I guess I'm gonna go for that window. It's the smallest we have. I mean, that's gonna look ridiculous from the outside. Oh, let's not look at that. And they can get that mirror. That's the closest we have. And a little window sill. And they have a little wicker basket. So I'm gonna do my little hamper trick again and just put that hamper on there. <laughs> Perfect. I kind of like this room. It's kind of cute. It's probably not usable, but hey ho. And now for the big challenge of getting onto this little balcony. So what happens if I put up a staircase? Oh, that's gonna take up so much space. What am I gonna do? What if I just extend this like so? And then we have a staircase here instead. Did that work? I mean, it gives this door a little reason. A reason to exist. A purpose in life. Yeah. That could probably work for me. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in. And now we shan't do the living room. Oh la la. Oh la la. Pinterest, give me my living room. Oh, that is looking very cute. So for the couch, this would have been perfect. But I think it's too big for the living room. We also have that ladder that we have to look after, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe this is our best bet. I'm gonna spice it up with some pillows and whatnot. Don't you worry. I think that's our best bet. And then for the TV stand, I think this is the closest. Now, it has some little bookshelves and stuff, but it matches in spirit, all right? <laughs> and now for the carpet. Oh, the carpet. What about this one? I mean, yeah, that could work. And then for the table. Oh, yikes. All right, so the tables in the picture, they're round, they're glass. They have some wooden legs. Do we have something like that? I mean, no, not really. What can I do? I mean, we have these tables. They are mahusive, but if I size them down, and <laughs> that looks weird. But if I size them down and put them like so, and then I put up the knickety knacks that's on the table, I mean, it's starting to look like the picture. It is. Okay, for the window, we need some curtains. We need a windowsill. And we need it now. Here they are. And then we have some little hanging plants. Can we get that for them? I mean, they are attached to the wall. Can we do something about that? Can we put up these? <laughs> that works for Nora. And then I just got to put up the rest of the knickety knacks on the little shelf. Beautiful. Right. For the TV table, we need a little TV. And then they just have some more knickety knacks up in there. And on the wall, they have this little wall decoration. Do we have anything like that? I mean, these stars are really the closest thing we have. <laughs> Beautiful. But on the other side of the wall, they have a little shell thingy thangy. I think I'm gonna go for that. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put in some naked knacks in that, maybe. That sounds like an idea. And then around it, they have some vines. What am I gonna do for that? I mean, what if I just put up this curtain and we just ignore that for now? <laughs> I don't know what else to do about that. I truly don't. What else do they have? They have some more plants. Beautiful. I do now realize that this shell thingy should be on the other side. But I can't move the shell because I've all placed all of the other things. And it's gonna be a nightmare to move that. And I am gonna cry. So let's just pretend we don't see that we don't see anything we're just gonna move on so this side of the couch they have this little wicker box with some plants on it i mean can we do something about that you have this thing and if i size it up a little bit then i take another one that i put it on top like that <laughs> if we squint our eyes it kind of looks like a little wicker box and then we just put some plants on there i don't know and on the back here they have some shelves i don't know if that's gonna look weird or not but let's try that yeah good enough for me all right i am done with the living room whoa it's beautiful it's magical so let's move on to the next room and it's gonna be the dining nook. So Pinterest, give me my dining nook. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it really is just <laughs> table and some chairs. And it kind of looks like garden furniture, if I'm being completely honest. But all right, we can, we can make that work, probably. <laughs> yeah, what chairs are we gonna get them? I mean, I don't really want to, but I think it's gotta be these. And they have no curtains, but they have a windowsill. So we can uh, maybe get that for them. There is a little windowsill, and I put up some little bit more fancier wallpaper that I 
make it at least use them <laughs> those poor poor people noish let's move on and now we're gonna move on to the little entryway that's in here so pinterest give me my entryway oh that looks cute i mean we can only see a little bit of it but what i can see is uh, great they have this little round mirror oh yikes oh yikes okay what about this one it doesn't really match but um it, ha it has the vibe okay it has the vibe let me live and then we need this little clothing what is this called row of coats hood yeah whatever we need that they also have some little bags on the hood so maybe if i just like so when we pretend that we do not see the hat like so <laughs> then we can't really see the rest of the entryway so maybe i'll improvise and nora improvised with a little shoe rack some stuff some nicky necks a plant beautiful amazing i love it well, let's move on to the next room and the next room is going to be the patio so let's go pinterest oh i mean that's looking kind of cute i mean first of all i decided to put up a window there because it looks so strange to just have one window in the corner right there but i couldn't really find the space to put in the window here because there's not a window on the picture of the living room you know so i compromise and i put up a window here and i hit it up with a curtain and the picture i mean maybe the people who lived here just absolutely hated that window so they just tried to hide it up yeah let's begin with the balcony they have a table i mean this table might work maybe and for the chairs i'm just gonna go with these because they i don't know they match the best and on the table they just have a lot of naked necks yes i'm gonna do that and then on the house they have some vines some plants so maybe i shan't put that up too but then they just have a little table right there i mean it kind of looks like this one what else do they have they have a cutting board with a watermelon and a pitcher all right wow what a beautiful sight to behold all right and then they just have a lot of plants everywhere so let me just put that in and on the picture they kind of have this little rusted wall so i improvise with that and it has some more plants and a tree that we can't see there it is just to hide up that window you know they absolutely do not like that window but yeah here is the little porch oh la la oh la la and now i thought we could move on to this little section of the house and there was a great idea yet again to turn this into a little event space a little ballroom if you want to call it that with a little kitchen and a bathroom so let's do that pinterest give me my ballroom uh oh i see well that was not really the ballroom i had in mind <laughs> but all right we're gonna make that right in front of here they have two plants these ones and then they just have a random table right here i think uh, yeah and then for the chairs we have those chairs they're not similar at all actually but i think this one's the closest and then on the wall we have two mirrors maybe this one that might do and then for the curtains oh but jeebus me they are triangular curtains i mean we have these ones <laughs> those poor people i mean for goodness sake we don't have anything else that matches what am i supposed to do all right i put up those curtains and i do not want to talk about it let's move on to something else what else do they have in this room okay in that corner right there they just have a little table and a chair like so there you go and on this side they have a chair and a radiator i mean for goodness sake okay i don't know what they're doing in this room but <laughs> now i gotta figure out where the bathroom is gonna be i am gonna furnish more in here okay i am but i just need to figure out where the bathroom is gonna be before i put in the rest of the furniture so i think the bathroom could be somewhere around here maybe let's go pedras oh okay that's a nice small bathroom i can i can do that i can do that to the flooring i mean it is a checkered flooring but it isn't that dark on the picture it's kind of more gray so can i make that myself interesting question indeed can i make that myself i mean i can theirs is a lot smaller tiles though i mean i made it now so i'm gonna keep it <laughs> and then we need a toilet i can get that one and then we need a sink oh we have to use that sink and i absolutely despise this sink And oh, they don't have a mirror strange but what they do have is a little picture i'm gonna get them this one i'm happy with that and right in the corner there they have some type of light and i have no idea what type of light that is maybe just this one yeah they can get that one and then on top of the toilet, they have this little box with a little toilet paper in it. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I can just give them this one. And for compensation, I can give them an extra toilet roll just by the side there. Noish, that's the toilet. Now let's move on to the kitchen. One, two, three, go. Ah! Oh, that's super cute, isn't it? Oh my god. Sims 4 is not responding. The Sims couldn't handle my bathroom. It was too much for them. Okay, so in this kitchen, they have some blue counters. So maybe that could be a good-ish match for them. And then on the other side, we can put in the fridge. This one matches the closest. And then they just have an oven in here and a stovetop. That's not functional, but that's not my problem today. And then they have some shelves, like so. And they don't have the plain shelves. They have this little thing that's supporting it. So maybe Maybe I have to make my own with these little what do I call again corbels just put them up they're a little bit thick but that'll do for Nora <laughs> and then they also have some more shelves so I'm just gonna put up some more shelves I guess whoa there are me freak frackety shelves so let me just put up some little nicky necks on 
those shelves. That would be very, very dandy with some naked eggs on those shelves. Wow. And then on the other side, let's do the same thing. Let's put up some naked eggs. Everywhere I go, I need naked eggs. <laughs> and oh my gosh, those glasses. I logged in and out of the game for a hot minute. And when I logged back on the game, a whole row of glasses was gone. And I don't feel like doing that all over again right now. But just imagine there were two rows of glass right here. So mad. So in this corner, we can't really see it on the picture, but we could imagine that they had some, some trash cans. Maybe two trash cans like so. They have a lot of trash to do. I don't know. Yeah, that is the kitchen. Jano, Jano. Yeah, so let's finish furnishing this room. Oh la la. I mean, we need a dance floor and we need some tables and maybe a bar. We are lacking for space here, <laughs> people. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all right. What if, hear me out, what if we don't have a dance table at all? Dance table? <laughs> we don't have a dance floor at all. We can just pretend that they have a dance floor. And we just have two tables like this. And then in this little nook, I thought we could have a bar. A bar moment. It's not a bar event without a bar moment. I had no idea what I just said right there. We can go for this little bar. I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? Whoa. Now we just need to decorate some little more. Okay, the curtains. Oh gosh, the curtains. Oh, we have a window there as well. Oh no, I so want to change my windows to over here. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? But my lines! Mama! <laughs> oh no! No, I can't change up those windows. Because then the whole thing will go up in smoke. Some holy smokes. Okay, I can do something like that and I'll just have to fix it up later. <laughs> and then behind the bar, what do people have behind bars? Not the jail bars, but the the drink bars. <laughs> that's gonna ruin the vibe, isn't it? This would have been good, but that's too big. Do I seriously have to make this myself? I think I do. Yeah, that's looking fine. I would have loved to have two rows of wine stuff, but you saw. You saw what happened with those glasses. I'm not taking that chance again. Not right now. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> Oofa. 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 That is not looking great, is it? No. <laughs> you know what? You're just gonna get this table, and you're not gonna get a tablecloth. Because you don't deserve that. You don't. Oh, it's looking ugly in here. I am so stuck on what to do, because nothing matches each other. Okay, you know what? I'll come back to this room later. Because that's always good to do when you're stuck on something. Just do something else and then come back later, okay? That's a good thing to do. But what I did see, that there is this little air vent. Is that what it is? This type of air vent isn't common in Norway. We usually have them on the wall. And they kind of... <laughs> Can I show that real quick? I know that you don't care. But I want to make some friendships with my Norwegian air vent. Hold on. So, <laughs> so like the classic Norwegian air vent looks like this. And you can close it like so. And you pull on that. You know what? Sometimes I do kind of wonder what I use all my time on. But now I do realize what I use all my time on. I look at freaking Norwegian air vents. I mean, <laughs> that's what I do. Simple drain. Okay, so it's a drain. I see, I see. That would also make sense to have a drain by the floor. How does a Norwegian drain looks like? <laughs> Can I show you a drain as well? I think that's the standard one. So now you know. How does the drains and air vents look in your country? I'd like to know. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> So now I think we should move to this little room that's by the kitchen that I closed off. And the Luna Fairy 17. Fairy? Fairy. Fairy. I hope one of those were correct. They said that the part of the kitchen you walled off would be ideal for a toilet or a laundry space. And I think that's a lovely idea. So I am going to make this little space into a toilet area. So that's what we're going to do. I just typed in Pinterest in Pinterest. That's not, that's not it. I have to say that I do not know what happened to Pinterest. <laughs> okay, what if I refresh? That, that worked. That's the bathroom. Put in this one that matches close enough. And then the sink. I mean, that means again that this room is not going to be functional. But you know, you know, I will do my best. And then we need a little mirror. We can just get this one. Oh, and then we need some wallpaper, of course. <laughs> what color is that? Yellow background, but then like a lots and lots of flowers in blue. I'm actually just confused right now. I'm just going to go for gray. And then they have a tiny, tiny window. Okay, I can get this one. I know it's not a rectangle. It's a square, but um, I would like to survive this day. I will survive. There is your windowsill. And then we need a pink curtain. Wait, you know what? I can elevate it a little bit up. That kind of creates the illusion of uh, us having a longer window. Just don't tell anybody about that and it'll be fine. So there was the bathroom. Now we shall move on to something else. And that something is gonna be in here. And Lori Horta. Was that right? <laughs> Probably not. Anyways, they had a couple of ideas. Laundry room, library, gaming room, butler's room, toddler's bedroom, twin bedroom, and or TV room. And I thought that this little space might be perfect for some sort of library. That could be fun or not. We shall see. One, two, three, go. Yeah, this could be cute. I mean, if I try to go like so. What that door? What am I going to do with this door? Okay, you know what? The library is not going to be here. I was just kidding around. It's going to be here. <laughs> Whoa. Because we need one more tile to make this work. All right, we do. Okay, so if I just take a half wall and I put it up like so. And that be something. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. And on the top, I have no idea what to do on the top with those arches. I don't know. <laughs> that was an idea. But they're not big enough. <laughs> that could be something. I have now removed 
remove the roof. Oh, it's scary in here. Sammy, it works for now. <laughs> Let's put up some more bookshelves and see where the wind takes us. Right, here is where I am at the library. Whoa, it's still pretty wonky, okay? It's very wonky, but I'll fix that later. I'll fix that later. Oh, that's right. We need to get a ladder from the gallery. But last time I got a ladder from the gallery, my game crashed. It did. I am, of course, going to put in the ladder. I am, but I don't know if I can deal with that right now. I mean, my game has already crashed today without that ladder, so you don't know. Okay, so we have this couch and we have this one. I'm feeling this one, actually. I, I am. There we go. Made my choice. Proud of you, Nora. I'm proud of you. And on the other side, we have a very fancy table. Oh, yikes. I mean, it kind of has this sort of vibe, but not really at all. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what I've done here. I mean, but gee, but Joe. Really don't know what I'm up to. <laughs> and then we need a carpet. I almost forgot the carpet. We could use this one. I like that. I mean, that could work. Let's move on to the next room. Pinterest, give me my laundry room. Oh, that's cute. So I think maybe the laundry room can be around here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's that freaking flooring again. Oh, it's a pattern that I don't really have. Okay, I can try with that. If we hate it, we can just change it, okay? And we can also forget that it's a carpet. Now we can forget. <laughs> now we need a washing machine. Let's just ignore that we can see the wood through the washing machine. We just have to ignore that for now. <laughs> then we need some cabinets. Oh, they have open shelf cabinets. Yikes. Do we have some green shelves that matches, please? <laughs> I mean, okay, I can allow this one. And I cannot put it up because it's clipping to this thing. Ah, Peaceful, Nora, peaceful, peaceful. Let's get some towels in. Nice and quiet day. Then they have a sink. I see. And then some flowers. These people love the plants. They just have a big old bush like this. They do. And I'm not going to deny them that. They may love that. Who knows? Here you go. Actually, that bush is disturbing the light in here. I have to get them something else. Just going to get that. Bum, shamalam. I'm moving on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> thought we could do the little walk-in closet for the primary bedroom, so let's do that. Pinterest, give me my walk-in closet. Ah, uh, all right. I mean, I literally just got an empty walk-in closet. There's nothing in there. Well, let's go. Dream home decorator. Two of those there. And some shelves. That, that works. Can I squeeze this in here? Yeah. Yeah. Right there is the walk-in closet. There is nothing else in there. I mean, we see the picture. That's it. So let's move on to the next room. <laughs> what a, what a strange little room. And now, we are going to move on to the office. Pinterest gave me my office. Oh. I mean, I'm sensing AI immediately that I am. But I've come this far and I shall not stop. A nice comfy office chair. I mean, it has to be this one. And then they have this, um, what is that style called again? I can't even remember. It's this style. And in the back, oh, okay, wait, no. I got excited for nothing. This kind of looks like that. I mean, no, that doesn't match enough for Nora. I gotta make that bookshelf myself. Oh, let's get in some holes. Yeah, something like that. And then they have this. Uh, what do they have? They have this old timey newspaper. I don't think we have anything like that. And what can we go for then? This one. Yeah, close enough. Then not I can spot a carpet. I mean, that one's kind of cute. And in the corner, they have this little, I don't know what that is, a little nightstand. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I just put some little naked necks on the shelf. And now I just need to put some more naked necks on the table. Oh, we yeah. are. I mean, sure, that's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, now for this room. Not really sure what to do with this room. What if we just do a art studio? How about that? Ooh. I mean, that looks like fun. Let's <laughs> I've lost all hope. We need a couch. So let's make that happen. And a little table. A little bit of table. That's the closest we have to that table. You gotta get that table. And then a poof. Love me a poof. Right. And then the carpet. Love me some carpets. I freaking love them. That's the carpet. I can't niche search anymore. She really couldn't. Then we need some um, stuffy. Leaf. What is that in English again? Easel. Ah, uh, I see. We need a lot of easels. So we can just have one here. And maybe one here. Just one there. They don't have any curtains. They don't. Oh, well, good for me, I guess. I'm not really sure what's going on in the background. Is that a table? Is that a table? Is that a table? That's definitely a lamp. Interesting. At this point, I'm just improvising because I I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, yeah, this is one messy room I made right here. <laughs> but that's the art studio. Let's move on to the next room. That is this room. So Pinterest, give me my small hallway. Oh, well, that's a hallway at least. I mean, it's really boring, but um, okay, let's do that. Some white walls and some pictures on the wall, I guess. Oh my gosh, this is such a creepy room. Uh, we can have that guy. And her, and her, and him. Wow, beautiful. On the picture, there's a door there, but that's not gonna happen. So what am I gonna do there instead? 
nothing we need something you can have that bookshelf how about that real happy about this hallway now let's move on <gasps> to the last room no we have two rooms left we have this i don't know what to do about that but uh, something okay we need another hallway <laughs> um i mean i really just got the same room didn't i just another color palette okay i'm gonna make this room i guess you can get this guy and that guy <laughs> wowee wowee wow wow i'm done with this room what am i even gonna search for this room i have no idea just like a linen closet or something i mean yeah i could do that i got my inspiration right here you know and we even got little taylor saying link nothing more so i guess i gotta put up some shelves then oh this is gonna be so annoying oh i can't see anything i'm just gonna remove the wall for now and i'm gonna put it back afterwards yeah this whole wall just gonna be the shelves beautiful magnificent love every second of that right so what do they have they have some of these and there's some more baskets and towels all right that's what you have in a linen closet and baskets and towels yeah i think i'm gonna take away those shelves and then what am i gonna do then no no what was the plan <laughs> what was the plan i am gonna put in some vacuums is why not? Maybe just two of them like so. And then the mini one. There you go. I have lost the plot, I think. I mean, this has turned more into a uh, supply closet of some sort. It has. So, you know, I feel like that's realistic. You start with a little linen closet and then all the mess comes in. So, not my problem. Then I just have an old stereo in here. <laughs> they haven't fixed yet. <laughs> oh, and some secret cash. Beautiful. Love that for them. And there is the wall back up. Finally. Oofly doofly. Right, we have come to that time in the video where I shall do some speed building decorations. So, hope you enjoy that because this time is a big one i have a lot to decorate a lot to go through lots of rooms to fill and uh yeah are you enjoying it it's now 20 46 i mean that's better than last time last time i finished this at 10 30 oh no i still have to decorate this oh okay so it's not better than last time then or was it i don't remember anymore but yeah as you're watching this as you freakity freakity watching this i am beginning to get done with this house i do actually freaking love this house i do even though it was a nightmare for me because this is such a mahusive house that is it just takes ages to fill up with furniture and decorate and especially when you have to do it with the pinterest pictures okay so if i was going to decorate and furnish this whole house without the pinterest pictures i think i could have my time in half that makes no sense Nora. i think i could cut my time in half that i think wait hold on i think my mailman is here no that was not the mailman disappointing last video <laughs> yeah, i know in the last video that i called the chimneys for pipes a, a lot of times and <laughs> i have a reason for this because in norwegian the word for chimney is pipa pipa and that's one of the few words that my brain just kind of discombobulates when it sees a chimney i'm like ah pipa so <laughs> so i could just never ever remember the name for chimney in english i just just pipa and then it just becomes pipe and that's it i so if you ever hear me saying pipe to something that obviously is a chimney you understand i hope <laughs> by the way also in the, in the last video i complained about the fighter jets and i was threatening to buy one of the fighter jets if they wouldn't stop freaking flying it and guess what they haven't flown that fighter jet for days now coincidence i think not i think my complaining helped i really think that oh no now i probably have jinxed it again by saying that um but we shall see we shall see oh my gosh okay i have to interrupt this speed building real quick because i have to show you something embarrassing ignore the pipe oh my god ignore the chimney i'm going to fix that <laughs> but just have a look at the back of the house what is this what is this what is that what is this that's the worst backside i've ever seen for house okay i gotta put in some more windows i, I am going to <laughs> So yeah, let's go back to the speed building now. But yes, thank you so much for <laughs> those of you who donated money to me. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. This is out of my comfort zone. I'm a person who feels very weird about showing gratitude or thanking people. And I don't know why. Because I do feel so grateful and thankful, but I just don't know how to show it. That makes sense. So I don't, I'm just, I guess I'm just not used to it. Oh, that seems sad. But yeah, just, I don't know. Ah, this is getting awkward. But yeah, thank you so much to those who donated. <laughs> See, I'm already getting awkward again. But yeah, thank you so much. That money will go to me and <laughs> i need to go to sleep <laughs> for real i can't believe what i'm saying but no that money will go to buying packs for the game so thank you for those of you donated I, I really do appreciate it it's just the way that i said it i can't take myself seriously at this point should i fill that part again no i'll leave it in but yeah thank you so much you obviously don't feel like you have to donate money no don't feel like it no no 
stop stop right there you don't have to no 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 but um yeah thank you that was enough of that i feel like am i done with the speed building or do i have to keep going because this is getting awkward what else is on the top of my mind i always get confused when people talk about scandinavian design random topic nora freaking random topic but i always get confused because the scandy design trend style is obviously like its own style and it's completely different from the actual scandinavian style like the i wouldn't say traditional but also traditional the normal style so when people say oh scandinavian style i think of something completely different from what they are actually thinking about which is like the hyper modern ish stuff so i just get confused i have no follow-up to that sentence actually i'm just gonna end that sentence right there i'm nothing to show that, that was that i think i'm done with this beer building now so let's go house tour welcome to the house tour <laughs> this house what can i say about this house i don't know what's going on in this house to be honest with you but um they like plants they like gardening and they like events that's all i can say and i feel really proud for finishing it and i can't wait to edit this video oh gotta be a joy a hoot indeed but yeah I, I do like this house i do like how it turned out if nora only knew what she would get herself into when she first placed those walls Ooh. Yeah. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the backyard. I know a lot of you wanted me to do something spectacular with the backyard, but to be honest with you, there's not much space to do anything with the backyard, you know? There's like three tiles. <laughs> so plants it is. I mean, I fixed the window, so that, that was good. Because that was a disaster. That was embarrassing, even for me. But yeah, that was house. It was a big house. We laughed, we cried, and we cried some more. And here we are, the big old house. I will put this house in the gallery, but just as you know, this house is not functional. Just so you know, it's not functional. Because I had to do some things to make it look like the picture. And a way that it's not functional anymore especially the bathrooms and one of the bedrooms and maybe all of it i don't know so just keep that in mind you can change it if you want to i mean obviously you could change the whole freaking lot if you wanted to that you could it's your house now baby you can do what you want <laughs> yeah i mean the layout of this house is kind of weird too bad it also is but that's what happens when you don't plan things i'm not really good at planning at all that's one of my many weaknesses it's thus planning what else can i talk about i have this calculator my hp 10 bll plus financial financial calculator from my academy classes oh good times i mean i really i bought this calculator for absolutely no reason but nothing because in actual physical exams you are only allowed to bring this calculator like this is the only one that's allowed but my exams was during the pandemic so we had online at home exams where everything was allowed so i bought this calculator for nothing i could have used my phone even absolutely useless i i don't even know how much money i pay for this but it was too much i think the house tour is done now if i have timed this correctly <laughs> let's go outro all right that was it for this time hope you really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i mean i finished the house i did what more can you ask for than the nora finishing your house i don't know anyways don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and i will see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>